Hey YouTube, this is it guys, you go back with another G.I. Joe review. Today I want to do a quick comparison between the three beaches that I have. The 50th anniversary beachhead, and the single carded beachhead, and the comic pack beachhead, or the hall of famer beachhead. Now let's take a, take a look at the packaging, the Viper Spit, Cobra Viper Officer, beachhead, and the Cobra Trooper. Now these three figures are awesome, and I really like the figures, and especially beachhead, since he's always been my favorite G.I. Joe. But I have to admit that this beachhead, although that he has a lot of possibility, he's not my definitive beachhead. Now there are some flaws for me in this figure that I'll tell you what, what they are. Now, technically you were supposed to give to beachhead that gun, but since you can also add with the gun, a silencer, I decided to take one from the Cobra Trooper and give them to beachhead. Now, uh, I'm, I'm gonna bring the other two beachhead and we'll do a quick comparison with them. Okay, let's just bring the three beachheads together here. As you can look, the, the three of them looks awesome. Now I have to admit that this beachhead has a lot of similarity to his vintage toy. But the only thing that's missing from his vintage toy, that his vintage toy had a, here an extra bomb here the day that I added. Now this head was used on other figures. For example, we first got it on the beachhead from the Pursuit of Cobra, uh, which was one of the best beachheads. Then we got it on Resolute, and they also used it on the Steel Brigades figures, which I'm not, I don't have any problem with that. And the original body was created from Snake Eyes. Now, I'm gonna also do a quick comparison between the 75 of these three beachhead. Now, as you can look, the 75 of the Comic Pack beachhead, which is my favorite beachhead, it's nicely done. Like that, like, like, like those two beachheads, as you can see, the 75 is not very accurate doesn't appear here you don't see it at all you have to approach the camera to see it or hold it by hand to actually just see 75 here eh, you can see it but not that good enough now my only complaint about the comic pack beach head that we didn't get his backpack but what we did get something awesome in the comic pack beach head an extra head an unmasked version of beach head the scarf, which you can add it only if you want on this beachhead as part of a ma his mask and his scarf is coming out. And this is a quick review of the comic. I'm going to leave a link below on my Facebook page. Check it out if you want to read. The Dark Beneath the Silence. This is the packaging. Other comic books. Uh, you got the Snake Eyes. The Hard Master. You got Wild Bill, Scrap Iron, a small, oh, sorry. a small resume of the story. And this is the single carded beachhead, that one. I'm just pointing to you know which one I'm talking about. We got one we got first, Snake Eyes, Flint, Cobra Commander, Cobra Trooper, Beachhead, Lady J, Buzzer, and Serpento. Now, the surprise that when I got my single carded beachhead, actually I didn't suspect to get an extra gift while I was asking for another extra G.I. Joe, I got Firefly. Now, Firefly was created from the same bodies of beachhead with, with a new head. Now, his new head was used on other figure like uh, the Rise of Cobra, Sandstorm. Originally, Sandstorm is the coyote of... Uh, Dusty back in a Dick series. If you can check it out, I'm gonna leave also a link to Dusty and Sandstorm to give you an idea. Now, this beachhead was my definitive beachhead until they used the head of beachhead on another figure like uh, um, Rage Viper, uh, Frostbite from the Rise of Cobra that comes with uh, Ice Dagger, and the club subscription Skullbuster. Now, I'm not against they used bodies from other figures to create figures, but I wish that sometimes Hasbro or, uh, or the club, they keep unique heads for figures. Like, for example, Duke, Flint, Lady J, and sometimes the head of Snake Eyes are always unique to these characters. Now, you're going to maybe tell me, no... This is how it is. I understand. I'm not against to use other heads on other figures. I'm not against it. But I love to keep some unique characters with their unique head. Now, 
This beachhead is my favorite one because if you have a figure of low light or general hawk and you want to add him extra goggles, you can give him those goggles. Okay, I brought two goggles as you can see one from the general hawk and the other one of low light. I'm gonna give to beachhead the goggles of general hawk. As you can see when I put them, they fit very well. The same goes for the low light goggles. Now, if you take low lights goggles and you post post them on this beachhead, it does go all the way, it doesn't fit. Same goes for that figure, I think, yeah. Now, this is why my beachhead, this beachhead is my favorite. Because if you want to customize your beachhead, you can give him extra goggles. Not like those two others beachhead. Now, I really love beachhead since he's my favorite character, him and General Hawk and Cover Girl. I love to always give my beachhead when he's when I'm playing with my figures actually to let him that he's on a special mission he need night vision goggles or special goggles to see at night this is it guys thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel